I'm Robert Reed. Today we're talking about crops, a plugin for Capture One that does automatic cropping. Now what do I mean about automatic cropping? Well, let's go jump over into Capture One. So what Crop does is uses some machine learning tools that are built into macOS and, and to look for the face in an image. And it finds the face and then it creates a square around that face and creates a new version of the image that's cropped as a square. Now this only happens when you export images out of Capture One. You can't do that within that Capture One um, and then, then export it. It's not changing how Capture One works, uh, the, how the cropping inside Capture One works. This is really just something that happens when you export files. And there's a couple of different ways to, uh, to use Crop with Capture One when you're exporting. And today I'm gonna talk about one way, which is the simplest way, which is the one where you, that you use through the Publish menu. So in this case, I've selected three images and I wanna create square crop I want to create JPEGs of these th three files as square crops around the faces. So to do that, I'm going to click on the image menu and go down to publish and open the export with cropped uh, dialog. And here we see the first settings, which are specific to crop. The first one is the export path. This is where the, the files are going to be stored when, after they've been cropped. And the crop type is a few different options right now is the square circle. And hexagon, I'm just gonna go with square. Um, I wanna make these 400 pixels. That's the image, that's the size LinkedIn likes, so I'm just gonna go with that. And I don't want a border in this case, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then I wanna go over to the basic settings, and I'm gonna make this a JPEG instead of a PNG. Now for cropped, it only supports JPEGs and PN PNGs. Typically for squares, it doesn't matter which one you use, but if you're using a circle or hexagon, you wanna go with a PNG. I'll show you that in a moment. So I'm going to go with JPEG and I'm going to publish this one. We get a notification when it's done. We can click show and here are the images that we just created. Now I want to show you this one. So notice how... So let's compare these two images and we see the... This gentleman on the right, he is centered. He is not quite centered. He's a little bit farther over to the right side of the frame than he is on the left side of the frame. And let's go back to the image in Capture One and we see that the way this has been cropped, he is shifted over towards the right. And what happened is cropped uh, shifted him over to the side because basically he didn't have enough pixels on this side to make him centered in the square. So one way we can get around that, and I'm just going to unselect those and I'm gonna re-export this one but I'm going to change one thing. So go back to Publish, Export with Cropped. I want all the settings the same. Still want a JPEG, but over in Adjustments, I want to turn Change Respect Crop to Ignore Crop. So now when Capture One exports this image and processes this image with all the settings and then sends it on to Cropped, it's going to ignore the current crop setting that's been done in Capture One. So Instead of 4x5, if I go over to the crop menu, we can see that there's actually much more space around this image that we can use to make a square crop. So let's go see what happened and go back over here. Oh, let's turn this off and let's go back to the image. And now we can see that this one is centered compared to the original one. Let's go back to this one. And we see that the original one is a bit off, and this one is actually a little bit more space around him as well, because we had cropped up from the bottom. And now he looks much more like the other guys. So let's we compare this one. And now they're both centered. And he's a little bit lower in the frame, and that happens sometimes. It really depends on the proportions of the face. It's, the goal is to put the eyes roughly at one-third of the way down the frame. And he's a little bit higher. He's a little bit lower, but this is artificial intelligence, so we do what we can. So now let's do one more image. I want to show how to use the borders. So we're going to turn on, we're going to export this image with a white background. In this case, I want to make it a circle, and let's make it a little bit larger. And I'm going to add a border. Uh, I think I just, so because this is a white background, I want to be able to see where the edge of the image is, particularly since it's a circle. And I'm going to make this a black background that's very skinny, just two, two pixels wide. And again, this is a circle, so the, back, the image type needs to be a PNG so that the background can be transparent and we actually get a, an image that's a circle. And I'm going to leave ignore crop on. This image isn't cropped, but I think that's just a good rule to use for using cropped is in your adjustment section, just always disable 
or ignore the crop in this option. So one more thing about the basic, I forgot to mention, the scale. Again, these settings are what Capture One is using to export the image, which it then gives to Cropped to do the automatic cropping to make it a square or circle or whatever. So, and then after Crop's done with that, it's going to resize it down to the number of pixels that you put in the Crop settings. So this scale is really just the size of the image that Capture One is going to give Cropped. Now, because I'm my final image is going to be around 600 pixels or so, I don't need all of the files, and these files are fairly large. So I'm just scaling, having Capture One scale it down about 25% to about 25% so that it's a smaller image for Crop to deal with. That just helps speed things up. If you ever see that your final images are smaller than the number of pixels you asked for, that's because crops didn't see enough pixels there to make it uh, the size that you asked for. And it's not going to increase, it's not gonna scale up the image. So if for example, it creates a square and finds he's only got 200 pixels there, then it's not gonna scale it up to the 400 or 600 or whatever it is that you tried to ask, that you asked for. It's gonna leave it as the size as it is originally. And if in that case, you probably just need to change the scale and raise that up to 50 or even 100%. It just depends on, on the image. So I'm going to publish this. Show, and here we see there, circle. A little bit larger circle with an image that with a transparent background and a black border. If you're interested in crop and don't have it yet, please go to getcrop.com and there is a free 30-day option to try to try it out. There are also there's also a mailing list that you can sign up for to get an updates on the crop community as well as updates on Capture One. I probably won't be doing anything more than about once a month, but I will try to compile news, new things about Capture One and also updates about cropped. So sign up for that. That'll be a companion newsletter that goes with my Capture One videos on YouTube. I'm Robert Reed. Thanks for watching.